An interesting experiment and a favorite subject of classroom demonstration of chemistry teachers is the spontaneous combustion reaction between glycerol and potassium permanganate. This is also another classic example of redox reaction. To perform this experiment, you will need the following. Glycerol or glycerin, potassium permanganate powder, dropper or pipette, a piece of glazed porcelain tile or a porcelain dish. Before the start of the experiments, make sure to follow all necessary safety precautions in handling chemicals and fire. Wear lab coats, safety goggles and gloves. Potassium permanganate is a powerful oxidizing agent. It also stains the skin and clothing and may be mildly corrosive. This experiment involves fire and must be performed in a well-ventilated area at a safe distance away from people and animals. The experiment itself is quite simple and straightforward. All you have to do is take a few spatulas full of potassium permanganate powder in a china dish or on a porcelain tile. Add several drops of glycerol to the permanganate. Observe from a safe distance what happens. Within several seconds of adding the glycerol, the reaction mixture violently reacts and spontaneously ignites and produces thick white fumes. At the end of the reaction, a blackish residue is left behind. The reaction between glycerol and potassium permanganate follows the equation shown here. The glycerol is violently oxidized by permanganate to form potassium carbonate, manganese trioxide, carbon dioxide and water. In this redox reaction, glycerol loses electrons and is oxidized to form mainly carbon dioxide, gas and water, which are seen as white fumes. This oxidation is in fact catalyzed by potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate, on the other hand, acts as the oxidizing agent and gains the electrons from the oxidized glycerol. The permanganate itself is reduced in the process from an initial oxidation state of plus 7 of manganese to a final oxidation state of plus 3 to form manganese trioxide. The reaction is highly exothermic and spontaneously ignites with a purplish flame. 